hello guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how to create a profile card using HTML and CSS as you can see those are three cards uh, and have uh, some uh, social sharing icons button image and some text so let me explain you how you can create that so I open my code editor and open this one on the live server and also I use the shorten I have already included the CSS file inside the CSS file I have a font of some also I'm gonna use Google fonts poppins you need to get that from there as you can see Google fonts space main and click to import and get the font and include that and also I have a CDN font of some library like this one you need to copy that and paste on this one section right once you do that then you will able to write the code to create a profile card so let me explain you how you can do this so let's write the dev assign the class card wrapper inside there I'm gonna create a dev assign the class card header all right then inside there I'm gonna add the dev and assign the class pick you can write any name inside that i'm going to add the image so images i have images person one so outside of this one pick dev i'm going to create a h3 and call john doe and assign the class name then i'm going to call paragraph tag and i'm going to write the designation front end developer assign the class position not position yes position you can write the designation or any name as you want right then the next thing I'm gonna add the this one this is a card header inside the card header I'm gonna create a div write the class mm, buttons then I'm gonna call dev write the class features then inside there I'm gonna use ul ally tag and inside the ally tag I'm gonna use i tag inside the i tag I'm gonna add the font of some icons if a b if a facebook right so I'm gonna grab that two three and four time this will be github this will be twitter and this will be youtube so sir so let's see output of this one as you can see then the next thing i'm gonna create a class uh, i mean anchor link this is a button tag after this one button tag i'm gonna create a simple button assign a class ctn button contact me come me right once you do that then select the card header dev after this one dev you need to write the card footer inside the card footer I'm gonna create numbers assign the class numbers inside the numbers I'm gonna create a dev and inside the dev I'm gonna call a span tag inside the span tag I need to write the number outside of the span tag I write the text you same thing for example I use on there will be 300 50k and this will be followers and this will be uh, following this will be followers okay. so this is our simple HTML we will work on the CSS to design that so let's see First of all, you need to reset all the things. Just a minute. And and inside there, I'm gonna use margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box. And also, I'm gonna add the font family on each of our section. Will be pop-ins. 
then I'm gonna use tax declaration will be none so perfect then I target the body and say the body I'm gonna use background color will be gradient Line gradient and I'm gonna use 90 degree and R2F1CFF and the second one will be DB5B6E so right and then I'm gonna use height of this one section 100 VH display flex align item will be center justify content will be center so perfect then I got card wrapper to manage that so width will be 320 pixel tax align will be center and border radius will be 8 pixel and I'm gonna use background will be white and margin top and bottom zero left and right 40 pixel so sir right and also I'm gonna use overflow hidden on there I'm gonna use overflow hidden right then the next thing we need to work on the card header so we need to target the card header class like this one and based on there use calibrate it so use background color will be i mean use background will be 2c3 a47 right and cell right and then i'm going to use padding padding will be 60 pixel top and bottom left and right 20 pixel so let's see right then I target the pick pick class. I have assigned the pick class inside the this one section. So the first thing I'm going to use display inline block and padding. I'm going to use will be five pixel and border radius will be fifty percent. So okay. Mm, just a minute. I need to check that. Uh, pick okay why okay I will use this one just a minute I, I target pick image and use this thing on there right and then I use the display block on there and i'm going to use the margin top negative 50 pixel right so i think everything is perfect on there yes let's uh, work on the uh, just a minute name <coughs> I'm gonna use color will be white and font size will be 25 pixel font width will be 500 margin top and bottom will be 0 5 pixel left and right 0 pixel right then the next thing we need to target just a minute, I need to check the recording. Then the next thing we need to target the position. Position class. Use calibrate gates and use font size will be 50 pixel and color will be like uh, 537 to C0 and font width will be it will be 400 pixel not pixel just a 400 right then i target the buttons and dot feature class i have assigned those classes on there as you can see button and feature class so i will use simple display flags 
margin top will be 20 pixel align item will be center all right so right and then i will use justify content uh, space between space in between all right Mm, buttons, features, display flex. Okay, let's uh, use margin 20 pixel top and bottom left and right will be zero, right? And then I target the features you will take and use display flex. Then I target the features you will ally and use margin 0 pixel and 5 pixel height will be 47 pixel width will be 47 pixel and display flex first have that let's see then I use very simple class cursor pointer and uh, color will be white Mm, list style type none and border radius 50% align atom center and then I use justify content will be center and I'm gonna use border two pixels solid and light blue right and then I use transition all 0 0.3 second essay right so let's see but we will work on the hover effect on there so I use UL ally dot is and inside there I'm gonna call column hover comma dot active curly brackets and use color will be white background will be light blue five percent let's see as you can see right so let's uh, talk about the button tag so I go to uh, where this one copy and paste on there curly brackets use background will be 53 um, 7250 F0 and um, just a minute I use first I'm gonna use display inline block and padding will be 0, 07 50 pixel and I'm gonna use color will be 5537 to F0 and I'm gonna use border will be 2 pixel solid and the same color right I'm gonna use border radius 5 pixel margin top will be 10 pixel and I'm gonna use transition transition 0 0.3 second liner and so sad right as you can see mm, padding uh, 7 pixel right as you can see then the next thing we need to target uh, the button CTN BTN and I'm gonna use background will be first I'm gonna use hover effect on there uh -huh. and I'm gonna use um, just a background uh, will be H5370 and color will be F2 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 right so sir right as you can see 
everything is perfect right now then we need to call card footer class I'm going to show you which like this one so we need to set up it so I use the background will be white align a term will be center right side and then I card number class which is like this one okay one more thing we need to do I just need to check that we need to also assign the class on the atom on each div because we will manage that so so let's see a number right so I use display flex and align atom will be center so right and then I call atom class and I'm gonna use flex one text transform will be uppercase font size will be 10 pixel color will be light blue and first of that let's see right then I target the atom class inside the atom class I have a span tag so I use display block and then I call color will be white not white dark and I'm going to use font size will be 20 pixels white right? then the next thing we need to target the border right but before displaying the border I'm gonna check the card footer padding I'm gonna use padding top and bottom 10 pixel and left and right 5 pixels so serve right so after the just a minute I need to check that where we need to add the border after this one section I call the class border I use same thing copy and paste after this one so and we need to target the border class and use the border width will be one pixel and height will be 30 pixel right and then I use background color will be light gray so very simple so there is a form uh, I mean our cards a card that I help us to design the personal profile right as you can see this is a complete card so if you want to increase the cards so you just uh, use this one section second time and the second time I'm gonna change the image like three Save and first I'm gonna save that as you can see but we need to change the name I'm gonna use the Thomas not Williams and I'm gonna call backend developer or you can say that uh, what this digital marketer marketer right so let's see and if you want to change the numbers like 20 and 30 and this will be 20k so let's see right and third one you can use same thing like this one to create a third one card just change the image and and this will be graphics designer and you can use same thing like 120 not 220 to 30 and this will be 8 80k Right, so those are our cards I've used the simple HTML and CSS to design it so I hope you understood as well thank you very much for watching have a nice day